Like the day we've got a no clean up job, which is nice. Um, it's a big tour all there, 50% reduction. And we're not doing it for the sake of the tree, we're doing it because it's on very mushy, marshy ground and it's overhanging a listed building. So we've got some barrier tape up now, separating us from the builders. So all of behind me, co-dominant stem, we're not removing the whole tree, but we're pretty much cutting it in half, so if it does go, it won't reach the house. I've got a tool bugger. Just plotting my path up. Progress up this part of the stem is going to be slow because it's straight and there's nothing bigger than my finger really. And because a lot of this wood is going to be kept, I'm not using my spikes. So it's I'm just going to be using my rope guide to give me like a decent fall arrest system. And I'll, I'm just literally going to have to edge my way up piece by piece using these little pegs as footholds. So for all intents and purposes I'm at the top now. I'm going to make my cut there. I know it's a bit high relative to me. It's weighted favourably. Lou knows where it's going. My ropes are making a straight line down the tree so I know where they are. The next thing I'm going to do is strip this stem off so it's just a pole and that will give me freedom of movement so I can get out, get to that one over there, um, reduce that and it will also take weight off which will make me feel better. Even though I'd run through it in my head, I hadn't thought about positioning myself properly so I had the best control. I ended up severing the hinge too early. I could have climbed higher, cut lower or used a handsaw in this scenario and that top would have gone where it was supposed to. Even though we're cutting the tree in half, I'm still trying to adhere to correct pruning principles, which is to cut back to laterals, no less than a quarter or the third the size of the parent branch. You can't always stick to this perfectly, but I try and do my best where I can. After I completed the reduction and left one tall pole as an anchor point, there was another alder that had grown out at a 30 degree angle and was bending over. So the next job was to cut that to a size that it was safe. I swung across using my high anchor and made certain that I put as little as my weight onto the bendy <coughs> alder as possible, using my lanyard to prevent me from swinging and cutting off branches as I went. I could have taken bigger pieces, but I didn't want them bouncing and hitting any of the builder's machinery or damaging the tree as they fell. The last job of the day was to chog down my anchor, and for this I got Louis to send me up my spikes. Right, we're at the final phase of the operation. So, top's got everything stripped off. Literally, all I have left to do is to take the, um, the stem down to, we can see where that, those pruning points are below me. I mean, these trees are tall.
When I try and take a bigger section to see what will happen, it bounces its way down grazing the bar and the way it falls is too unpredictable. So I went back to cutting everything small. There we go, last cut. So, today's mission is complete. All I've got to do is get myself to the ground, which looks a lot closer than it did an hour ago. On my way down, I was careful not to poke any holes in the tree with my spikes. And that's another job done. 